President, Mr. Beckham, Mr. Robert, and Ms. Mary, and my friends, my friends all across the nation. Mrs. Eisenhower and I are privileged this evening to spend this particular night in charming Augusta and with such a company, uh, with such a company and with you to witness the great exhibition of American art, performing art, that we have seen on television. To each of those artists, we give our sincere thanks and expression of our great appreciation. Mamie and I lived in Washington a long time, long before 1953. In those days, it was quite rarely that any head of state or head of government came to Washington. But in the later years, Washington became the political crossroads of the world. It was visited by kings and queens and presidents and prime ministers, and in the future it will be so, divis if so visited even much more briefly. And in their train have come many others, and they have learned much about America that they did not know before. Many years ago, when we were in Europe, it was not too rare at all to hear our country spoken of as one of the colonies. When a, when a European spoke of coming to America, he would say, uh, we were going out there, we're going out there uh, next year to see uh, you people. And it was in sort of a condescending tone. But as these visitors have come to Washington and then have been privileged to go and see our broad lands, our great cities, our humming factories, and learn more about this great country. They began to appreciate also that there was here a culture that had been growing and developing over the decades. And it was a culture that in all its forms deserved the respect of all the world. And so finally, in the later years, when I was acting as the chief executive, the idea was born that in Washington there should be a center of culture, an American, uh, American center of culture to which all the artists of the United States could repair. It would be sort of a artistic mecca, indeed, that would be open to visitors from every land. In all of the arts, then, these people would come to see, in sort of a nutshell, what America was capable of showing, not only in her factories, in her productivity, and her great strength, and her wealth, and her prosperity, her great roads and highways, but what she could show in the arts and in the those things that appeal to all that is spiritual, aesthetic, in the senses of man. So I think this dinner tonight, starting off for the material side, of the development of this great culture is something that each of you, each of us can take some pride in participating in. I do hope that each of us that has heard and seen this performance this evening will uh, take some inspiration from it and try to be a part, himself and herself, in making this Center, a true Mecca for art, one that will give everybody who visits Washington, whether from our own country or from the far corners of the world, a true appreciation, a better appreciation of America. Good night.